These jobs slash websites will literally pay you to use AI. Remember to like and subscribe. So here we are on the OpenAI Red Teaming Network. Now, for those who don't know about OpenAI, OpenAI is simply the platform in which ChatGPT and Dal E are built upon. But there's been a couple problems going on with OpenAI, and I'll explain right now. You see, as nicely as TechCrunch explained it, Basically, it's not perfect. You see, OpenAI is a generative software, which basically means that it can create new images, new text, all these types of things, which is what we're coming to love and be very interested about when it comes to AI. But here's the thing. It's not able to do everything accurately or correctly. You see, the models in DALI 2, you know, they've been found to amplify stereotypes around race and sex, which obviously is not what they're looking for. And then on top of that, when it came to GPT-4, you know, people were able to create prompts that can make it ignore its safety filters, which is easily one of the biggest concerns that people have about AI, which they're trying to fix. And so their answer to that is the red teaming. You see, the open AI red teaming network is just their way of combating that type of issue by increasing the safety of open AI's models. And that's where you'll come in, my friend. You see, right here it says, Prior experience with AI systems or language models is not required, but may be helpful. What we value most is your willingness to engage and bring your perspective to how we assess the impacts of AI systems. So you definitely don't need to know too much about coding or how AI works and everything. They just want your knowledge and your experience. Now, what's also great is that no degrees are required, but a bit of experience in some, sub in some subjects are going to be helpful in you getting these gigs but you can go from all the way from cognitive science to something as simple as education or fairness and bias you know I'm, I'm not here to say that anybody is going to be able to do this but i mean most people watching my channel have pretty good jobs in any one of these fields listen you can go do this but we do have other options um throughout this video for you to check out that you don't need to be all that experienced for in order to get those gigs and the beautiful thing is that it's very flexible with your schedule check this out it says the time that you decide to commit can be adjusted depending on your schedule note that not everyone in the network will be con contacted for every opportunity open ai will make selections based on the right fit for a particular red teaming project and emphasize new perspectives in subsequent red teaming campaigns even as little as five hours in one year would still be valuable to us so don't hesitate to apply if you are interested but your time is limited so guys listen if you want some extra bread if you want some extra money go ahead and apply and the application process is really simple it's right here you know apply to join boom bap you just put in your name it's just like any other job application you've ever done areas you know you consider to yourself to have expertise now trust and believe I know some of you guys are going to click through all of these to get the highest chance, and I get it. It's a hustle. But do what you want. But I'm sure they're going to test you and give you assessments. This is open AI, guys. This is, you know, and even the other stuff that I'm going to tell you is going to give you assessments and stuff. So don't think that you're just going to do a little interview and they're going to let you in. They're going to actually kind of, they're going to want to know where your mind is at. But hey, listen, if you're well versed, me personally, I have, I know I have like six of these that I could personally truly check off and say, hey, I'm very, I'm, I'm very well versed in this field. Let me let give me a shot, you know. And they're looking for people, man. So go ahead, and you will be compensated. How much? I don't exactly know, but because it's limited and it's really open AI, I do imagine that you'll be compensated anywhere between minimum wage to a little bit above that. In fact, it even says it right here. All members of the open AI red teaming network will be compensated for their contributions when they participate in a red teaming project. So there you go. You will get money and I highly, highly doubt that it'll be anything less than minimum wage. These guys are serious. They want to pay the right people for the right things and give them the right money. So go check that out now on to the next one and right here we have remo tasks remo tasks you know you're training ai chat bots you know they say that you can literally earn up to an equivalent of 15 dollars per hour but let me really talk to you guys let me really talk to you guys remo tasks has not been known to pay the best in fact if you check out reddit forums right now and i'll put them up like see right here suspicious of how well i'm doing on remo tasks anyone have a positive experience now this one person says, I love remote tasks. It's a main gig now, everything like that, right? But then you have someone right here that says, I stopped last year because the pay was too low. Like 0 0.03, I don't even know why I'm saying that. Like three cents max per task on all annotation tasks, you know? Then you have another person here. It's very mixed reviews. There's another one that says, 
People, please don't use this site. People aren't getting paid after earning more than $30, I heard. People wasted so many hours for nothing. This one said that they only got $10 for paid training. Then you, ha then you have another person who said, I've made over $900 in a month and have gotten paid. So it's very much all over the place. I'll show you guys one more. You know, this one is again saying it's not a scam. You know, they make about $300 a week and they get paid once a week, which is great. But then another person says that they had an experience where they felt the work wasn't good enough for them and they only made $20 for 10 hours of work. So it's all over the place with, with Remo tasks. You know, like try it out if you want. I recommend it. How does it hurt? It doesn't hurt anything. Just go try it out. But, you know, uh, I definitely have some better options out here for you. We have data annotation tech. Now, data annotation tech is actually a really good one. I've been hearing really great reviews, but one problem. You see, apparently it's hard to get work. You see, Remo tasks, you'll get a lot of work. You'll always get work. But data, data annotation, that is a hard one to say. I'm not going to lie, guys. Data annotation tech um, does not give you a ton of work. They, um, they're very picky about who gets what projects. But when they give it to you, you are making $15 an hour. Like 100%, that's what I'm reading all, all across the board. It even says it right here. Most folks average 15 to 20 plus dollars an hour on the platform. But again, it's only if you get a task. If you don't end up getting a task, don't expect to get any, you know, you'll be sitting there. People are talking about that they've been sitting there for months waiting to get a task. But when you get one, it's real. So there's that. And then we have TELUS International where, again, Join our remote AI community of 1 million plus members. So what happens is that you come here. Now, this place is a little bit more tucked. But again, I've heard better reviews about this place than I have of Remo Tasks. So listen, I gave you Remo Tasks just for you to know. But it's looking like you would much rather go with the OpenAI Red Teaming Data Annotation Tech. I really got it right that time. And, you know, tell us international. See, you have a lot of different things that you can apply for here. You're very likely to get, you know, $10 plus an hour jobs with Intellis, but they're way more specific and I would even say a little bit more difficult because literally as you're seeing here, you know, there's a lot of different things for different countries. Like you see there's Spoofy Do USA. And yes, I do understand Spoofy Do USA is probably the funniest job posting I've ever seen in my entire life. Yes. But here we are. Spoofy Do USA. You see it's a remote position, ro remote freelance work where basically, you know, you create images and videos imitating security camera footage within specific scenarios following our guidelines and examples. The task includes moving around in a room with or without a disguise, such as a mask, and it takes approximately three hours for one person to, to uh, complete. And it's really for helping artificial intelligence systems improve their recognition components. So pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. And yeah, you could just do it you know, in your own home, uh, but you must be, you must reside or have the right to work in the U.S., excluding a few states, Illinois, Texas, Washington. Um, so that leaves the 47 rest other states for you to, you know, have a blast. And this is not the only job posting in the USA or in the world. There's also other ones, right? So, and this one, it pays you um, up to $100. So that's not bad. Three hours of work, $100 fair trade and there's other job postings as well you literally just have to look through them and assess them and then you'll be able to find jobs all over the world we know there's uh, some of them listen and this is actually really great because again if you live in poland or argentina this is a great place for you to start making money and lastly we have clickworker and clickworker is actually a pretty well-known site for things like this and you can actually scroll down and see right here on the site it says we don't just provide easy click jobs but offer interesting and fun tasks as well join us in shaping the future by participating in ai training so they also will pay you to use ai but you know if you're wondering how much you would make uh, well they actually kind of discuss that a little bit right here where they uh where they literally say you know how much do you get paid just like everything else just like the other four here don't expect to replace your job with this stuff. It's just for extra income. It actually highlights it right here. Working at ClickWorker should not be considered a substitute for full-time employment or self-employment. And if you even go to some other websites, they're saying you can make anywhere from as low as $3 per hour and as high as $25 per hour. And it's a very reliable site. I have not found any problems with this site obviously people are always going to complain and people are always going to want more money for what they do but i mean listen trust pilot has it as 4.4 but in actuality if you really google it 
it will actually have click worker at a little under four i believe see you have click worker at 4.1 g2 click worker 4.1 uh, Captera 4.3, Apple 4.4. So people do like it. Let's look at Trustpilot. Yep, at Trustpilot, they have it at 4.4. So people do, I mean, listen, always read the reviews yourself. But listen, people are liking it. So, hey, thank you for watching the video. Remember to like and subscribe. Go out there and get some extra money using AI. Have a great day, man.